to dismiss the clickbait, I am leaving Southern California and going back to Chicago for the time being. As you guys saw by the title of the video, life and channel updates. I'm gonna begin the video with channel updates and talk about some of the accomplishments that this channel has achieved. And by this channel, I have achieved. And by I have achieved, I mean you have achieved or you have helped me achieve, you have achieved. Since January 25th, 2020, which feels like forever ago for the past seven months. Accounting is a good skill to have in investment banking, especially if you're an accounting major like me, but counting is also very important. Since the seven months that I've started seriously uploading onto this channel and the video that is famously titled what I literally do in investment banking, which is actually still my most watched video to date and probably will be unless I suddenly take off. I hope it does, but YouTube is hard. Long story short, since January 25th, 2020, this channel has miraculously gained 4,384 subscribers, over 208,000 views, 13,000 watch hours, 2.1 million impressions presented and shown you 38 videos. And since the recording of the January 25th upload, I have lost eight pounds. I'm more proud of the first five than the last accomplishment, but hopefully the last accomplishment shows a bit more than the first five. Fully aware that my channel is not huge or anything, barely at almost at 5,000 subscribers, but being the philosophical liberal arts guy that I am, here's a bit of a layout of what I envisioned for this channel, how much of that I've achieved, how much of that there is yet to achieve, and what I think about moving forward with this channel, thinking about my life, my career, my YouTube career. The way that I envision YouTube is that you have to hit a certain niche if you want to be famous or viral or influential to the audience. You can't just be a person and talk about nothing and become big. I know that there's probably a lot of hate out there for people that seem like they're famous for no reason, but they have something that they have to offer that others don't have. That might not be the most productive thing out there, but they could be funny, they could be informative, they could just be good looking, but they have things to offer. While I am definitely proud of my looks, I don't think I'm good looking enough for people to care about me or what I do just because of my looks. So definitely gone to the last category. I try to be funny, but I understand that my humor goes over people's heads sometimes. So the first also wasn't my initial target. My initial thesis for the channel was the second category, the informative that I could provide insights into my investment banking career, but also give a different spin on it than some of the other channels on this platform, which are doing great and they have their own niche that they're targeting. but. For me, it was to present investment banking as a career that was obtainable and more personal and not something that should be deemed as this crazy prestigious job that is unattainable in a whole different world, but a job that regular people like me have the opportunity to become a part of. It's a hard job. It's definitely a hard job to get into, but allowing those that are curious about the job and provide a perspective into the daily lifestyle and what I think about the job, how I approach the job and what I literally do on the job to be openly cunning. Obviously my initial motivation to go on YouTube was to become viral as far as I could be through an investment banking channel. And I've surprisingly become a partner and I even make a bit of money on YouTube. It's been great. My initial goals of attacking this niche industry within the YouTube platform called investment banking was successful. I've definitely gone far and beyond what I initially expected in terms of becoming viral. And from the feedback that I've received from all of you on comments, on direct messages that I have been somewhat helpful and providing a perspective that others might not have the ability to gain without this channel tells me that my initial goals were definitely achieved and it's being continued to achieve. There's definitely things I need to work on. There's definitely things that I need to provide more on, but I think my initial goals as to what this channel was originally going to be about have definitely been achieved. However, a second part of why I started this channel is the fact that I needed a creative outlet. I think any desk job related person would attest that sometimes it gets hard, especially if you're in a job like mine where it's demanding and you do long hours, you need an outlet. And I think Corona, if anything, presented an excuse slash reason to have a bigger outlet. I'm very glad to have this platform be that outlet, but sometimes, and very openly, I'm sure you guys at certain points would question, does this guy really enjoy talking about banking this much? I think I enjoy talking, period. And banking is something that I could talk a lot about because it's the majority of my life currently. It's something that, frankly, people are interested in and I can get views out of. But at the same time, I think working all day and having my hobby be talking about the work is definitely messing with me a little Bit. This is not to say that this channel will shy away from talking about banking because that is still what I'm the most expert at in relativity to what I'm expert about. But I also think that I want to use this platform to talk more about what I think about life, what I think about the world, what I think about jobs, what I think about friends, family, girls. So long story short, where is this channel headed? I'm still going to continue to post my bedroom, sit down, talk about banking, my perspective insights. But I also think I'm going to look for different avenues of expression 
description and maybe vlog a bit more, talk about my thoughts and insights about other things and a juxtaposition of both. So currently the plan is to display some form of a work from home vlog because realistically I'm not gonna be doing anything crazily exciting anytime soon with the whole quarantine thing that's going on. The most you'll see is me cooking Korean food again. But because I also want to attend to the audience and the reason why a lot of you are subscribed to me, probably not to see my face, but more to hear about what I can talk about regarding banking. So I'm gonna mix both. And as a follow-up to that, I think, and you guys do this anyways, even if I don't ask, but if you can comment on this video or on future videos, questions or follow-up questions to questions you've already asked before. And I think I'm relatively good about answering most questions but if you guys can continuously to ask those questions, I think my plan is to create vlogs, talk about my life, but also answer investment banking questions and have little segments, small parts of the video where I jump back into the investment banking cap and answer those questions so that the video benefits everyone involved. Me, because I get to express myself and do more videos that I consider to be a bit more fun than talking about banking, but you guys also gain the investment banking perspective that you originally signed up for. And in that synergy effect, maybe, just maybe, a bit more than what's going on now, the audience can equally or just a bit more like me than banking. That's just where my head's at. And if that's not what the audience ultimately wants, maybe there will be a separate channel. Maybe I will just shut up and talk about banking forever. But those are my thoughts for now. Bottom line, who am I to say all this? This channel is still of humble size, humble beginnings. I am happy to do whatever you guys think would be helpful. Happy to answer questions as always. But above all, very thankful for where we're at now. I genuinely did not expect this amount of attention, views, engagement, whatever you wanna call it. When I started this channel in January, it was just me and an iPhone camera. And now it's become a bit more than that. And I'm very thankful for it. It's genuinely one of the reasons why I'm sane and happy these days, especially in terms of quarantine and, and COVID. That might've been the longer, and of course I screwed up as I'm about to say it. That might have been the longest free of words without a jump cut you've seen in my videos. Once again, thanks for all the accomplishments that we've done together in the past seven months. I know that I just threw random words in this video and you guys might not care about where this channel is headed. Might be thinking in your head, Brian, just let me know what you think about Wall Street Oasis. Bottom line, thank you. See you guys next week.